Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Electronic Circuit Hub. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon. Okay, so in the series of wave shaping circuit, today we will see design and simulation of a positive and negative voltage clipper circuit with biasing voltage. And we will also see how do we generate a square wave with in sinusoidal input wave. Okay. So let us come back to this circuit. This circuit we have already seen. This is positive voltage clipper and this circuit is negative voltage clipper. So both positive and negative voltage clipper are combined together uh, to generate a particular waveform to generate a square wave. So let us see the behavior of this circuit. Okay, for the positive half, uh, for the positive half cycle of sinusoidal wave. Okay, diode D2 conduct it goes in conduction mode. So V output equals to V forward voltage plus V bias voltage. That is equals to 0.7 plus 3.3. .3, that is equal to 4 volt. If you remove this V2 voltage, 3.3 .3 volt, you will get only 0.7 volt at output. For the negative half cycle, diode D1 conducts. Okay, diode D1 conducts. It goes in conduction modes. Okay, so. Then V out equals to V up plus V bias, which is equals to minus 0.7 minus 3.3 .3 volt, which is equals to minus 4 volt. If you remove this voltage V3, you will get only 0. Point, minus 0.7 volt. So we will see uh, now the behavior of this circuit by using LT spice simulation. So here I have drawn the circuit already. So you have to run only the transient analysis. So let us run me transient analysis. Let us get to plot pen. This is for input. This is for input. And this is for your output. Okay. Let me change the color. Okay. Now let us zoom it. So you can see here you have a sinusoidal input wave which is this which frequency is 50 hertz okay so you can see here this is a positive half cycle and here somewhere is a zero crossing this is negative half cycle then again positive and again negative half cycle all right for the positive half cycle okay for the positive half cycle the output v out follow the input till 0, 600 millivolt then it clips off the whole voltage up to 10 volt it clips off then it goes back again uh, the same thing happens with the negative half cycle after zeroth crossing somewhere else it goes down and the voltage all almost most of the voltage clipped off now so here we are getting minus 600 millivolt and we are getting 600 uh, 600 millivolt to minus 600 millivolt that is peak to peak voltage okay so you you can see here you are applying 10 10 volt peak at a input and you are getting a square wave at output with 600 millivolt uh, uh, amplitude level okay so let us do some let us play around this circuit so i will add voltage source here Okay, let us take voltage source. Okay. Okay. Connect it via wire. Okay. You have to rotate it. Okay, connect it via wire. Okay, this is 3.3 volt. Okay, this is 3.3 volt. Okay, let us arrange it. Okay, let. Okay, that's all. So now you have added a 3.3 DC voltage in positive as well as negative 
clipper circuit now let me run the simulation okay let me zoom it you can see you are getting uh, now 4 4 volt positive amplitude and 4 minus 4 volt negative amplitude so you can see here what was your theoretical value theoretical value for this circuit was 4 volt for positive half cycle and minus 4 volt for negative half cycle the same output you are getting here 4 volt for positive positive half cycle and minus 4 volt for negative half cycle so we have seen uh, here for the sinusoidal input wave we have got a square wave with desired dc level so that is how a transformation of one signal to another signals uh, has been done okay so thanks for watching this lecture